For this IKEA hack, I was looking for a simple way to glam up the IKEA Beckfam step stool when I came across this photo in Pinterest and thought that's the perfect little DIY for this. So I set about to recreate the same look with some cane black paint and some thin strips of wood. After opening the package, I quickly figured out how everything would be assembled without assembling the piece just yet since it's definitely easier to paint before assembly. Then I got some dark wood stain and I'm pretty sure I mixed this really well before applying it, but for some reason it just wasn't applying correctly and definitely not what I expected. Everything came out blotchy and either the wood stain was old or just really low quality. Anyways, what I ended up doing is just scrapping that idea and spray painting everything black instead save for the very front piece which I wanted to keep in a natural wood color. It's best to spray paint outdoors, but if your space is limited like mine, you can make a makeshift paint box using a paper bag. Just be careful not to get the spray paint everywhere. It is really, really messy and definitely not good to do this indoors, but if that is your only option, just make sure to leave all of your windows open. After all of the pieces were dry, I sanded them down slightly in order to get a distressed farmhouse look. This is really important for me because I didn't want this furniture piece to look like the usual high gloss IKEA piece and I didn't want people thinking that my whole apartment was just furnished with IKEA furniture. So I really took my time here repainting and sanding to get the look just right. Assembly itself is quite easy. The package comes with an Allen screw, which is the only tool needed to assemble everything. Now that it's all assembled, you can see the piece that I left unpainted, which I think is really cute and just adds that little bit of unexpected detail. Next, I cut some cane down to size and I soaked it for around 10 minutes. You can actually soak it for longer, so just start this earlier, but just make sure that you don't go over 30 minutes because the cane will start to change in color. The soaking helps the cane become more pliable and it's just easier to work with when you are stapling it into place. So as the cane dries, it's going to tighten, so there's really no worry if you're unable to pull the cane super tight, but at the same time, you do want to give, have a little bit of tension when you are putting this in place. I'm just using a regular staple gun and placing staples around 1.5 inches apart all around. The tricky part is actually keeping everything straight since the step stool itself is a bit angled, so just be sure to leave extra allowance for this and cut off all of the excess cane once everything is stapled in place. In order to conceal the edges, I measured all of the exposed cane and cut thin plywood strips to size to make a border. Then I painted them all in black and let those dry. I just painted one side since anyways the other side is covered just to make things a little bit faster. Then I used a bit of wood glue and some nails to put everything in place and make sure that things would not move around. This is how it looks so far and here I went ahead to cut off some of the excess cane to make everything look neat. For the middle joinery, I decided not to put another piece of wood, so you can actually see the overlaps of the cane and the staples if you look closely enough, although I honestly think that nobody's going to notice unless I point it out. I might go back and finish it though depending on how lazy I feel and also at this point I think I was just being very impatient and I really wanted to see the project done. You can actually see that I didn't paint the upper pieces of wood as well since I don't think that anybody's going to notice that either. The final touches were a coat of black paint to hide the nails and then a polyurethane coating. I tried first to use a foam sponge but my roller that I had on hand didn't actually fit 
so I ended up using a paintbrush anyways. The polyurethane needs a few hours to dry in between coats and to get a durable finish you'll need around 3-5 to five coats. I was very impatient at this point so I think I did around 3 coats because I didn't want to keep waiting so long for things to dry and I'll just see how durable that is for now. If I think that it needs a few more coats then I'll go in later and finish off the extra 2 coats. On this very last coat, I sanded it down lightly with 600 grit sandpaper. This is just really to take off any streak marks from the paintbrush, but I did this with a very, very light hand to make sure that I wasn't taking off the polyurethane coating. Then finally, I gave the step stool a little buff and wiped down, and this is how it looks. I'm planning to use this in the foyer. The space there is actually quite narrow, so I wanted the step stool to work as a place to sit and put on shoes before leaving or when you enter to um, sit and take off your shoes. This is also opposite my kitchen, so having a step stool here is really convenient to reach for those higher up cabinets. Thank you guys for watching and let me know in the comments if you attempt this DIY project or what other IKEA hacks you've tried. Have a great week and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye bye!